What's going on? My name is John Lavido. I am here with you today back in the lovely Chiang Mai, Thailand. And uh, it's time for the vlog. It's uh, what, 8 p.m. now. I just got done doing some work, been doing some business stuff. In case you're wondering, actually, maybe that's what people have been asking about, actually. Maybe I'll go into a bit of that. Today, I was checking out on the business. First thing I did is I did the finances for the month, which uh, that sounds really boring. And uh, three years ago, or even a year ago, I would have agreed with you. But now, there's something amazing. When you learn how money works and how to sort of track the inflow and the outflow, it, it turns the whole thing into like a video game. So if, if you don't like business or you think finances are boring, like that's how you think about it. Since I've started thinking about money in this way, especially with the business, it's made the whole thing feel like, in, like a video game. It's amazing. And now, you know, I know that I can take that attitude and apply it to everything. Because money is just, you know, money is just a bit of paper, basically, a way of exchanging value. Um, but if you learn how to use it properly and learn how to manage it, it's going to make your life easier in a lot of different ways. Because, you know, I know, for example, I can use this with my business. I can use it with my personal stuff. So if I'm trying to save money up for a trip or to buy some DJ decks or to invest in whatever, um, uh, I can also use it with the music. So like when I'm evaluating opportunities with the music, treating music like a business, because it is a business. If you're doing it for a career, it's a business. Um, and, uh, and I think you have to think about it that way. And that's what the, you know, the other thing on the numbers, like do you put the money into a SoundCloud promo or do you get a video clip made or, or do you, you know, what do you do with the money, right? And that's a big part of it, is thinking through like, if you spend your money here, well, you can't spend it over there. And that's actually a good segue into um, a, cla a good idea within money that took me a long time to accept. But now that it's sort of clicked in, it's actually made life a lot better. Um, and this is the idea of trade-offs, that if I spend $10 over here, then I can't spend it over there. If I spend $10 on an ice cream, I can't spend ten dollars on um, a sample pack, for example, for for making music or whatever. And it was like I think before, you know, in the past when I was a bit more maybe immature, a bit bit younger, I thought that well, I guess I never really thought about it yeah, in those sort of terms. I just thought, well, you know, like I'll spend the money here, and if I need if I want to buy something else, I'll just make more money elsewhere and do that. And yes, that is true. Money money is a, a renewable resource. You can go out and make more of it, but that doesn't mean that it, it's a smart move to just go and throw your money around. Right, because you're not buying shit that you don't even need. Like, how, how many of us like I probably had a bunch of stuff. I don't even have that much stuff, and I can probably easily go and find stuff in this apartment that I don't really, uh, really need. For example, like there's a bunch of clothes that I don't wear. I haven't worn in a year. Like, should I keep those? Same with uh, what else we got? What else we got? A bunch of stuff in that book bookshelf behind me. You know, like we spend money on these things that don't really matter. Anyway, that's today's vlog. Um, this is a huge issue. This seems like a simple thing, or it feels like a huge issue for me. Uh, something I really want to, you know, master and become better at. Because I think when when you get good with money, it just makes every other area of your life easier, right? And and conversely, if you suck at managing your own money, like you spend it on, you know, it could be shit that you don't need. It could be drugs or alcohol. It could be just it just disappears. You know how we do that? We get paid, and and, and a few days I'm like, where the fuck did all that money go? We've all had that experience, right? And so, uh, so you can sort of think you know, money can either make your life really amazing or it can make it terrible. And it's not to, it doesn't mean you need to have tons of money. Like you got plenty of like uh, wealthy people who are either miserable or people who get over leveraged. And that, that's basically like they might make a million dollars in a year, but they go and spend $1.5 million, in which case they're half a million dollars in debt, right? So you like, you can have the same problems like of not having enough money, even when you see like you make enough money. And there are a lot of people out there who are sort of confused and, and uh, they probably feel really cheated. They go and make a ton of money. They've sold this dream by society. And then they realize that, well, it's not about how much you make, it's how much you keep. So anyway, that's today's vlog. Not really music related today, but certainly uh, can help you with your music, can help you with life, just making the most of it. So yeah, my name is John Lavido. John Lavido. Someone actually said at the festival this weekend, I, I, someone said, what's your name? What's, what's your music name? I, I said, John Lavido. And they're like, oh, oh John Lavido. Okay, okay. And then they look for it on SoundCloud and they couldn't see it. And, and they, so they gave me their phone, had a look at it, and it said Giant Libido. So, I mean, maybe that's what I should change the name to is John Levito with the Giant Libido. Something, something stupid like that. We'll see. Anyway, my name is John Levito. I may or may not have a Giant Libido. I'll leave that for another vlog maybe. And, uh, and yeah, I will uh, talk to you tomorrow with another one of these lovely, crazy vlogs. Catch you later.